Yo, what's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to another episode of Building Better Beats and Beatmaker 3. That is still hard to say. This week's video won't be as long because I am feeling a little bit under the weather. So we're gonna just jump right into it. If you tuned in last week, you were able to see how you could create some new drum kits on your own using Core Gadget. And I kind of gave you guys a little bit of homework to do. And I told you guys to play with textures and build your kits and pl play around with different sounds and techniques and stuff like that. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to bring a little bit more life into your drum sequences using the piano roll editor that's built into Beatmaker 3. So let's dive into it. All right, so today I'm gonna go over a beat that I've already been playing around with earlier today. Some of you, I guess we can call this a pro tip. So some of you may know, some of you may not know that you can do this, but with inside of Beatmaker 3, after you've recorded your, your MIDI notes, you can actually double tap on this section here and it'll bring up your piano roll. Now, you can see each individual instrument that's being played on every pad. So you got pad one, pad two, Pad 3, pad 10, 12, and so on and so forth, right? So you can see that we have a clap on pad 8. When I say bring more life into your drums inside of Beatmaker 3, when you play them on the regular pads here, they'll play the same exact note over and over again without changing the velocity unless you um, change the velocity uh, velocity level over here or they won't change pitch unless you actually ch play them in your different keys over here another way that you can change the keys though is like I said in the sequencer window you can go into your pattern window you got your song you have your scenes and then you have pattern and it shows you the pattern that you played so what we want to do, we want to select our clap pad. So within our pad or with any pad that we create, pads, claps, whether it's a snare, clap or kick, whatever pad that we go into, within this window, we can go right over here in this section to the top right hand corner and select our pad. And right here, you'll see that we can um, we can change these uh, parameters to different beat measures. So you see, when I change the grid here, you can snap these notes. You can edit these and snap these notes to exactly where you want them. But this is the interesting part, to where you go into the piano roll of that selected pad. And then you can now so select and change the tone of how that pad is played. So after you've played your drums out, you have your, your, your patterns here and you can actually go in and edit these individual notes. And this is actually what I was talking about when I said bringing more life to your drums. Instead of playing the same note over and over again, you can actually add dynamics to your drums by changing the pitch up or down. One of the most common uses for this technique is usually used on like hi-hats and um, snare rolls. A lot of the times you'll hear the hi-hats go in and out of pitch going upward or downward sort of like this. <laughs> You can even hear some producers use it on their snare rolls when they're transitioning from one part of the song to the next. And there we go. So using that section of the piano roll editor, you can go into each individual pad and edit every single note into its own pitch so that you can bring more dynamic and more color to your drum loops. I'm not gonna get into music theory or anything like that. That is not this channel, y'all. <laughs> but another video that I can reference that talks about drum design from another YouTuber and building better beats in Beatmaker 3 will be Henny the Business. He does a whole episode of how to build better drums when you're making beats inside of Beatmaker 3. It's actually pretty dope, so I'll put a link to that video down in the description too. Make sure you check that out. 
So like I said before, there's a lot of newcomers to Beatmaker 3 and getting started making music on your iPad using Beatmaker 3. And I don't wanna assume that everybody knows exactly what they're doing inside of Beatmaker 3. So if this was helpful to you in any type of way, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And for all my family, all the veterans out there who've been using this thing for a while, if you have any advice on how to build better drums inside of Beatmaker 3, go ahead and drop those in the comments too. We all appreciate the feedback. Thanks for rocking with me. Thanks for rocking with the channel. And remember, if I can create like this, you can create like this. Y'all stay inspired. I'm gonna go get some tea to soothe my throat. It's killing me right now. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all again next week. Peace out.